Yo, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to set up React Native tab view within our React Native project. Now, you do not need this exact um, project setup. Uh, you do, however, just need a regular React app setup. That's the only, that's the only prerequisite that you need. Um, so let me show you guys what we're going to be building. So if I click on Catwood Bebop and as I click on uh, Monster right here, I'll see the information regarding the anime. So I have a picture of the anime, the description, uh, trailer, a little bit of description, and I've separated the uh, I've separated into two different columns. So this contains all the info of the anime. If I were to do, drag it to the right, I'll see all of the recommended anime associated to the selected anime that we clicked on. So for Monster, uh, we have Death Note, Psychopaths, all these uh, really cool anime. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty. So the last time we left off, our app was looking a little something like this. We had a recommended anime trailer and just this button right here that would allow us to share the anime. So the first thing that we're going to do to make this work is we need to install two packages. So we're going to do npm i. The first one is going to be react-native-tab-view. And the second one, react-native-pager-view. And so once we have those installed, next thing we're going to do is we're going to cd into our iOS folder. And inside of here, we're just going to do pod install, just so that every single thing is installed and connected properly. So that covers the installation for Android and iOS. All right, so next what we need to do is we need to add some imports. So we're gonna import use window dimensions from React Native. And finally, we're gonna import tab view from React Native tab view. All righty, so the next thing that we wanna do is within our selected anime screen right here, we're gonna add a new variable and call it layout, oops, layout is equal to use window dimensions. So then we can just do like dot width when we need to. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our routes. So we're gonna do const routes is equal to, oops, is equal to use state. And inside of here, we're gonna give it an array. And the first object will be a key and I'll call it anime info. Then I'll do title give it anime info like so and then the second one we'll call it t call it recommended anime and we'll give it a title of recommended anime perfect and let's go ahead and save it like so whoops is this theme to a typo there we go and next we're going to do another use variable so i'll call it const index and set index is equal to use state and we'll set it to be zero initially so what's going to happen is whenever the tab view is going to be rendered uh, it's going to be looking at these keys to determine what the title is going to be and what the content is going to be within that tab view and this index will change depending on whether uh, they're on anime info or if they've scrolled to the right to go and recommend anime so it'll go to zero or one and you can set this to be zero or one, whichever you want, and it'll display that initially. All right, so now I'm gonna scroll down into the safe area view, and I'm gonna comment out every single thing was inside of it. And inside of here, I'm gonna go and add a tab view tag with a self-closing brace. And inside of here, we need to give it a couple of props. So the first one we're gonna give it is gonna be called navigation state. And inside of curly braces like that, we're gonna give it index and routes. Finally, after that, we're gonna give it another prop called render scene. And don't worry, I'll show you guys exactly what that means soon. And then after, if after that, we're gonna do an on index change. So whenever the actual uh, tab view has been swiped left or right, uh, we're gonna set index. And then after that, we're gonna do initial layout. And this is where the use window dimensions comes in handy. So I'm going to do width, oops, width. We're gonna do layout dot, oh, oops. We're gonna do layout dot width. And I accidentally added smooth braces when we want curly braces like so. There we go. So the use window dimensions, all it does is it looks at the actual window that the um, app is currently located in or where the tab is currently located in. And if it gets that uh, specific width, then it knows exactly at what point um, to actually swipe left and right from. So it doesn't like, if we, uh, let's say we have 
just like the anime only halfway to the screen then it would just get that little window area right there so since we have this entire thing selected now if we swipe left and right it'll actually um, look seamless all right so now let's go ahead and create some functions that's going to be responsible for rendering each individual tab view so first one we're going to do is const anime info is equal to this and inside of here we're going to give it a scroll oops scroll view and within the scroll view i'm just going to go ahead and copy our animate trailer screen like so and after that we're going to give it a view inside of here we'll give it a text from react native inside of curly brace it was to check if data is equal to undefined if it's equal to undefined then just display null else uh, we're going to do data dot data dot synopsis this will basically give um, the specific selected anime's information, like what the actual anime is about. And then I'm going to copy our fallback URL shared anime um, button right here and just paste it right below there. And after that, I'm going to do const recommended anime. Same thing, curly braces. And inside of here, we're going to give another scroll view just in case if there's a lot of information. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab selected anime screen, paste it into this bad boy, and I'm gonna add the same fallback URL inside of there. Perfect. And so now it's gonna say that this should not be empty, so now let's go ahead and fill this. So just really quickly, uh, the documentation for reacting to tab view tells you to use a render scene uh, variable, which is a scene map that basically takes in a um, takes in an individual key, which is right here, so first and second, and then it'll display the associated um, the associated function to that. So it'll display this one for the second route, and it'll display this one for the first route. The problem with this is that if you have an API and you swipe between left and right, it's gonna keep refreshing your API over and over and over again. And that's not a good experience from the API's point of view because it's going to increase your requests so what we're going to do is we're going to use a different method uh, that's going to prevent refreshing so then you can actually save on your uh, API request calls. However, if you don't have an API, just go ahead and use a scene map method. Uh, but in our case, what I'm going to do is within our render scene, I'm going to add some curvy braces and then curly braces inside of here. I'm going to give it route and then I'm going to make it a function. And inside of here, I'm going to add a switch case. So I'm going to do switch. And the first key we're going to give it is route.key. And if the value, the case, if it's equal to anime info, so if the key is anime info, then we want to call anime info function. And I'll get rid of this break right here. And after that, we're going to do another case. Oops, let me just go ahead and add semicolon. So we're going to do another case. If it's equal to recommended anime, I'm going to get a typo, so let's go ahead and copy and paste it like show. Then we're going to do return recommended anime as a function call. And then by default, if, it, if, it, if there's nothing else, just do return null. There we go. And so now make it prettier. All right, so now it's setting the animated value attempting to set value of undefined. And that's because I have a small typo. These curly braces should actually be curvy, like so. And so now, let's say if we go on to monster, we have the info, we have the anime picture, the info for the anime, and then I can drag it left and right, and I can see all the recommended anime, oh, oh my god, uh, associated to that specific anime. Perfect. So that concludes this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this comment. And that concludes this tutorial. We learned how to work with React Native Type View, set it up, and how to prevent refreshing on uh, the swipe of left and right. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.